Santiago, um, you're Chief Marketing Officer of Sage. Sage is a company that I've been watching go through phases of change, um, always making sure it's been at the first level of aware of uh, evolution of technology. I mean, it, traditionally, most of us would have worn Sage as a, a typical accountant's tool that would have been in a lot of small businesses, but it's been growing and growing into being more of a, a cloud company. Would that be a fair appraisal of, of where Sage is at and, and where, where it's going? Yes, uh, John, you're absolutely right. Uh, we've been in this industry for over 30 years, uh, and in this industry, that's a lifetime, right? Um, so yes, and I, I guess the, uh, the market also looks at people who've been in the, in, the, in the industry for such a long time as people who don't get technological change, you know, uh, people who don't really get the, the, the new paradigms of the cloud and so on. And I think Sage, we're out to disrupt that vision, uh, you know, that, that a company that has been a leader in the past can continue to be a leader in the future. And, and I think that we're, we're taking all the right steps in the right direction to become a much more cloud-enabled company and to bring the cloud to our customers in an easy way. You know, so the cloud in itself means nothing if, it's not, if it doesn't add value to a customer. So what we try to do is we listen to the customers first, look, you know, what, what do they need from our solutions, and then bring that to them in, in, in a simple way. So, If there's a word I'd use to describe what's happening with technology today, I, I'd use the word awareness a lot. I mean, you're wearing an Apple watch on your wrist, and I'm imagining Sage no doubt has, pro has products that will show a, a bookkeeper or a CEO when certain uh, margins have been attained or s targets met, for example, or not met. Uh, is, that, is that where you see yourselves going, that you know, not only with Sage, it's something that would have sat traditionally on an accountant's computer, but now it's an app in, in the pocket of an executive or an app that sits on, on, a, on, a, on a wrist of, a, of an executive too? Yeah, I mean, you, know, you need to use technology in the best way that you can, you know, that, that where it makes sense. So for example, with Sage Live, we use the, the multi-format, uh, you know, different form factors to interact with different user types in different ways. So for example, if you're a business owner, uh, you want to you wanna receive an alert that you might have a, an issue with working capital uh, in the next three weeks. You want to know that as soon as possible, and that might be on your, on your watch, you might receive an alert. And you can actually do something about it from your watch. You, know, you might say, look, I need, I need extra funding, or the system might, might ask you, you know, with the funds in the bank and so on, you might look at extra funding that you might need. So why don't you ask for extending your credit line in your bank or your, you know, your new peer-to-peer -peer lending company, et cetera. So you just, you know, all the information in the system, so you can actually ask the system to send the information to the bank with a tap on your, on your watch. It goes to the bank. Typically, you know, the new systems, what they tell you is they give you an answer within three minutes, 70% of the time. So before you left your house and you had your coffee, you can have you know, awareness of an issue, have done something about it, and even had it solved using the right form factor. Now, trying to input accounting information through an, an Apple Watch may be not the smartest thing to do. So what we do is improve the user experience on the PC, which is what, you know, what an accountant likes to use, where they can have you know, all, the, all the, uh, you know, the, the, the accounting information and the rules and you know, everything, their ledgers, everything that they need on a, on a different form factor. So it's really important to know your customer very well uh, and use, it, use different formats and different tools in different ways. Um, in recent weeks, Sage made a pretty substantial jobs announcement for Ireland. Uh, hundreds of people are going to be involved in, in this, in this uh, new operations. Can you tell us a bit about that investment and, and why, why you chose Dublin? Well, yeah, it's, uh, we've just, in, uh, we just um, um, had the, the uh, kickoff of our new customer business center in Dublin, which will create 300 jobs uh, in Ireland in the next 18 months. And we had the luxury of having the Tijac uh, coming, uh, Mr. Metro Canning. Um, and that is uh, a new way of um, delivering customer experience uh, in a, what we call a much with less friction. Uh, until now, interacting with a company involves a lot of friction. You know, you, you learn something online, and then you have to go to you know you have to go to a phys physical event to learn. So the the idea is that we will make the interaction with Sage much easier through the customer business centers. And the one in Dublin will service all of Europe. So that's why you know we, we will expect it to grow um, um, in the next in the next 18 months. And the reason why we chose Dublin, uh, it's access to talent, so education. You know, it's a city that attracts uh, digital and, and talent, so and multilingual skills as well. And then the communications infrastructure, which is second to none. Uh, there were, I think, 11 cities considered in, in Europe for this for this CBC, and we chose Dublin above all of them. And just a final question, really. Um, I always thought of Sage as a traditional accountant's tool, but over the years you guys have been adding more and more uh, things to the, say, the Swiss Army knife that is Sage. 
How would you describe, say, today, accountancy software company, or, or what is it today? What is it, as, as chief marketing officer, how would you best sum it up? It's a golden triangle. <laughs> it's uh, accounting, payroll, and payments. So, you know, it's kind of what you need to run your business is what we're about. Um, and, you know, so that's why, we, you know, it's not only accountancy, it's, it's the movement of money. You know, the concept of paying your employees, making sure that they have all the information in the payroll system, and also uh, the movement of money through the payment systems that you do your commerce with. So. That's great, Santiago. Thank you very much.